Hey everybody, I'm Julie. And I'm Heather. And we're Nadine the Band. Welcome to our channel. We're sisters who play music. Most of the time on this channel, we'd be playing music, but today is Micro Monday. So we're gonna do a little story time today. Today's story time, since it's October, is going to be about rodents. We grew up with rats. We had rats as pets. Yeah. They actually make really good pets, so we're definitely not hating on rats. But mice and other rodents, when they get into your house... So there's kind of a stereotype out there that like, women are afraid of mice. And I just think that's so dumb. Like, no, we're not, we're fine. But <laughs> one Christmas Eve, we're just sitting there enjoying ourselves, and then I don't know who saw it, but somebody saw it. They're like, mouse! And we just, I don't even know, we blacked out and all of a sudden, Julie and I are like on top of the couch, like just trying to find higher ground and just screaming for like dear life. Yes, <laughs> I, I got on a chair. I never thought I would do that. Yeah. And, and it was, it was our grandma. Our grandma saw uh -huh. it and there was a mouse in the house and I don't even think she, she screamed it. I think she was just like, there's a mouse. There's a mouse. We blew it out of proportions in our head. <laughs> but I will say the mouse thing with our grandma, yeah. it got started at a very young age. I was yeah. probably like six or seven, maybe. Yeah. You were, I was like four. Yeah, you were really young. I remember it. I was oh, old yeah. enough to remember this. We would spend the night at her house and there was a mouse in her house. We saw it like run behind the TV. So we told our grandma, there's a mouse behind the TV. She's like, oh, no problem. I'll put a trap out. In my little six-year-old brain, when a mouse is trapped in a trap, it gets it by its tail and then you let it go. Yeah. Like a cartoon. I had no idea what happened to mice when they got trapped in those old mouse traps. Mm. So it got it during the night. The next morning, our grandma wanted to show us so I don't know why she did this, but the mouse stuck in the trap, obviously no longer alive. Yeah. And she's like, oh, I caught the mouse. And she dangles it over, uh, over, over the bed. Because we were still in bed. We hadn't woken up yet. She goes in there and wakes us up. Hey, girls, got the mouse. And she's dangling it over the bed, acting like she's going to drop it on us. And we're just shrieking because yeah, that was terrifying. It killed the mouse. And now she's going to throw the mouse on us. I don't know. I don't know, Grandma. I don't know what you were doing with that one, but you know, thanks for that healthy. I don't have a fear of mice, but no. you know. Another experience that I've had with rodents is less of an experience with an actual rodent and more of like something my brain created. This was a few months ago. I had my first like sleep paralysis dream. I, I've had friends who have talked about it. I've never actually had a, my own sleep paralysis, but we were staying at like this Airbnb in like the forest area. And that night I was just barely falling asleep. And then all of a sudden this happened. I could feel it. Oh God. I could hear it. I could sense it. Oh, I'm laying in bed and not yet asleep. And all of a sudden there is a swirl sitting on my chest, looking at me. My brain <laughs> is telling me to scream and move and cause why is there a squirrel in bed? Yeah. My brain is telling me like, knock the squirrel off. Yeah, I'll do something. There's a squirrel on you. <laughs> Don't just sit there. And I could feel it. I could feel the pressure of it on my body. Crazy. And it was just staring at me. And I swear it stared at me for like 10 to 15 seconds. I think in this dream, it runs off of me. And then all of a sudden I'm laying there and I like I realized like, oh, I couldn't move during that. I couldn't move, I couldn't talk. I was just sitting there staring at this squirrel sitting on me. And then when it was over, it was like all of a sudden I could like move again and I had to like talk myself down in my, my brain <laughs> that that wasn't real. I'm assuming that wasn't real. It was a succubus. It was a, it was succubus. a succubus in the form of a squirrel sitting on your chest, sucking yep. your soul out of you. Yep. That was a dream squirrel. <laughs> My brain made up that squirrel. I am not afraid of squirrels. Like, you know what's crazy? There are things where when they're in their natural environment, 
They're not scary at all. If you see a squirrel in a forest climbing oh, yeah. up a tree, adorable. If a squirrel is in your house, terrifying. Oh, if it, like, yeah. that scene from um, Christmas Vacation. Yeah. One night, a few years ago, in the house that we live in now, Julie and I, sisters, we live in this house together. We were sleeping, and then Julie is hearing some noises. Julie, what did you hear? I was hearing scratching noises. Cool. It sounded like it was coming from underneath my bed. Of course. So when when I hear things at night, my brain doesn't tell me to hide from it. My brain tells me to find it. Mm, yeah. I'm not going to be caught off guard by whatever it is that's making this noise. I'm going to find it first. Yeah. And then it'll kill me. So I hear it scratching under my bed. So I'm like, oh my profanities. I, you know, turn the light on. I jump out of bed, making sure I clear quite a bit of dis distance <laughs> from the bed to that. where I jump. Cause I don't want something grabbing an ankle. Oh, I've heck seen, no. I've seen too many movies and there's no way I'm hanging my feet over this bed. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta jump a good four feet away from your bed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so middle of the night, I jumped out into the room. <laughs> I get down and I look under my bed and there's nothing. There's nothing under my bed, but I'm hearing it. And then the scratching starts to move along the wall. And I, and then all of a sudden the scratching is in my closet. Yep. And I mean, I'm, when I say scratching, it's not like like little scratches. It's like, like scratching, like for like trying to like, dig out of a coffin you were buried alive scratching. Yes, desperate scratching. Yeah. So I'm following the scratching noise out of my room and into the hallway, and it eventually, it gets at the front door. It sounds now like something is trying to scratch our front door down. Huh. So my thought is like, hey, there's something outside trying to get in at the front door. I can't, I'm looking out the window, I can't see it. So I go and wake Heather up, and I'm like, Heather, I think there's something outside. And you were standing there with your baseball bat. Did I have my bat? I think you had your bat. You just are standing in my doorway with the light behind you like the exorcist holding a baseball bat. And you're like, there's something outside. Somehow managed to get the courage to open the door. There's nothing out there. So what it was, there was an animal under the house because our house is like lifted off the ground. Yeah. We have wood floors. An animal got under the house and it was trying to get up through the floor Ugh. into the house. I assume it's a raccoon. I think it was a raccoon. Because I don't think a rat could make that much noise. It was a larger animal. Yeah. It was a big animal with some dexterous fingers. Yes, it was. I mean, I wonder what the bottom of our, underneath our floor oh looks like. Oh my God, like. it's probably all scratched up. Yeah. Terrifying. We don't know where it went. Nope. I hope it got out that night and went back to wherever it came from and isn't still down there plotting some kind of zombie raccoon revenge. I am very proud of us and relieved that we did not call the cops. Because <laughs> I think before we opened the door, I was like, this is dumb. We need to call the cops. We need to come out and investigate. What if there's a right. dude trying to get in our house and kill us? This, this dude just crawled under our house and he's just under there like, <laughs> That's terrifying. So those were our horror stories about rodents. Do you guys have any horror stories about animals or rodents or anything spooky happening to you like that? Yes, what do you think of rodents? Are you pro-rodent? Are you anti-rodent? Mm -hmm. Let us know down in the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Micro Monday. We hope to see you guys on Friday. Oh guys, it's coming. We got a spooky music video coming for yes. you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but it uh, kind of yeah. it kind of looks clear though. I've got some red, some red on my hands still, a little bit on my chest. That is not a reaction to something. No. Um, fake blood stains. So we can't wait to see you guys on Friday. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, press that little notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a video. We post a video twice a week, every Monday and Friday. So we'll see you guys on Friday for a spooky video. Bye. Bye.